Lesson 14, finding the equation of a line. We talked just a few lessons ago about slope-intercept form and finding the equation of a line by looking at a graph. Now we're going to be finding the equation of a line when looking at different um, ordered pairs and also when we're given the slope of a line. All right. We're going to work through this example that's in the middle of the screen, um, and we're also going to be jotting down some things here at the top of the screen um, in order to help us. All right, so the first thing that we want to do in finding the equation of a line is we want to find the slope. There's a formula to solve for slope. Okay? We know that slope is represented by m. Here's what we're going to do in finding slope. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so for example, we're given the order pair as negative 3, 2 and 3, negative 3. Okay, we know the first number in an ordered pair is the x value, and the second number in the ordered pair is the y value. All right, so we're going to use the formula for slope and solve for slope. y2 is negative 3, y1 is 2, so we have negative 3 minus 2. x2 is 3, and x1 is negative 3, so we have 3 minus negative 3. All right, well, negative 3 uh, plus negative 2 is negative 5, and 3 minus a negative 3 is 6. So we've just solved for our slope m equals negative 5, 6. Okay? Now, we know that our equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. Okay? We just found the m. So the second step thing that we're going to do is we're going to find b. And we're going to do that by substituting in the slope value, which we just found, and by also choosing one of the ordered pairs and substituting it. Okay, so we're going to find B by substituting the slope in one order pair into the equation of the line. All right, so our equation of the line is y equals mx plus b, as given here. We substitute it in the slope, which is negative 5, 6. Now we're just going to choose an order pair and substitute in for x and y. All right, so I'm going to use the first one, negative 3, 2. Well, 2 is the y value. Negative 3 is the x value. So we substitute those into our equation. And now we're just solving for b. All right, so to solve for b, we're going to first multiply negative 5, 6 times negative 3. All right, negative 5, 6 times negative 3 is um, 5 halves. So we have uh, 2 equals 5 halves plus b. And then to solve for b, we're going to subtract 5 halves. So b is going to be negative half. All right, so we have the b value. We have the m value. Okay, so now we're going to rewrite our equation. Rewrite the equation of a line. using the new slope and y-intercept. All right, so our equation on the line is y equals mx plus b. We have a new slope, and we have a new y-intercept. We're just going to substitute them in. So we have y equals negative 5, 6, x minus a half, because that is what the new v-value is. And that is our equation on the line. All right, let's look at our second example. We're finding the equation of the line that passes through negative 4, 7, and it has a slope of negative 3 fifths. The first thing in solving for these is to find the slope. Now, we're already given the slope of the line, so that's taken care of. Step one's complete. Step two, we want to solve for b using the slope and the order pair in our equation of the line. All right, so our equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. We're going to substitute the slope and the order pair in and solve for b. 
right? So y is equal to 7. The slope is negative 3 fifths. And x is negative 4. We're solving for b. All right, if we multiply through, we get 7 equals 12 fifths plus b. We subtract 12 fifths, and we get b is equal to 23 fifths. Or if you want to simplify, you can say 4 and 3 fifths. But I'm okay with keeping it as an improper fraction. All right, so we have solved for b. We're already given the slope. Only thing left to do is plug it into our equation. So y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 23 fifths. And that is our new equation of the line. There are two more examples, two more slides. Um, I want you to go ahead and solve each one. You're going to need to pause the video to um, look at the problem and solve before moving on to the next one. So the first example is find the equation of the line that passes through negative 2, 4, and 3, negative 1. You need to solve for the equation of the line for this problem. So go ahead and pause the video to solve for this one. When you're ready to move to the next example, hit play. The next example is to find the equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 6 and has a slope of 2 thirds. When you're finished with this example, um, we will check in a class. 